Alright, gearheads and tech fans. Kawasaki just dropped something wild, the Corleo. A futuristic four-legged machine that walks like a beast, looks like something out of a sci-fi flick, and runs on hydrogen. Sounds groundbreaking, right? Well, here's the plot twist. Just three months before Kawasaki's big reveal, a Chinese robotics company called Unitary launched the B2W, a quadruped robot that's not just real, but already on sale. So the question is? Did Kawasaki just invent the future, or are they playing catch-up? So here's the lowdown. Kawasaki Corleo isn't a motorcycle. It's not a robot pet either. It's a rideable robot, designed to be controlled by your body movement and handlebars, kind of like riding a mech suit horse. It's powered by a 150 cubic centimeters hydrogen engine, which then drives electric motors in the legs. On the flip side, Unitree's B2W is a pure robot, no rider seat, no handlebars. But it's real, working, and built to carry cargo, climb stairs, and survive the outdoors. Think of it like a robotic pack mule with AI brains. Alright, let's get into the guts of these two machines, the specs. This is where things get real. Let's start with Kawasaki's Corleo. Underneath its biomechanical look, this beast runs on something pretty unusual, hydrogen. Yeah, not your typical gas or electric setup. It uses a 150 cubic centimeters hydrogen-powered engine, which then sends power to the electric motors in each leg. That means it's clean, quiet, and surprisingly futuristic. The energy from the hydrogen doesn't push wheels, it walks. Literally. Now, flip to the Unitree B2W. This thing? 100% electric. No engine. No gas. Just dual battery packs delivering a total output of 58 volts, giving it enough juice to walk up to 70 kilometers on a single charge. That's almost a full day of robotic hiking. But how fast are they? Well, Kawasaki hasn't dropped exact numbers for COILEO's top speed, probably because it's still a concept. But the B2W? It's already clocking in at 15 km per hour, or about 9 miles per hour. That's not blazing fast, but for something with for mechanical legs. Not bad at all. And here's where things really start to separate. The B2W can carry up to 120 kilograms when standing still, that's about 265 pounds. And while walking, it can still handle 40 kilograms of cargo, enough for tools, gear, or a full field kit. COILEO's load capacity? That's still under wraps. But since it's rideable, we can assume it'll carry at least a rider and some gear, maybe 80 to 100 kilograms. Still, without hard numbers, we're just guessing. Then there's terrain. The B2W can climb stairs up to 40 centimeters, take on 45 degree inclines, and even operate in the rain thanks to its IP67 waterproofing. That's military grade toughness. Whether it's snow, gravel, mud, it just keeps walking. Corleo, on the other hand, is all about mobility with stability. Its hoof like rubber feet flex and grip as it walks, almost like a robotic deer. It's been shown walking through rocky trails and forest floors, giving off a totally different vibe, more biological, more natural, like it's part of the landscape. And when it comes to brain power, the B2W runs on a combo of Intel and Nvidia Jetsun Auron processors, making it smart enough for autonomous movement. That means it can make decisions on the go, reroute itself, and even avoid obstacles, all without human input. Corleo? It's not autonomous, you ride it. It uses body-sensing handlebars and even projects a digital path on the ground so you know where you're going. It's like merging horseback riding with Tron. So here's the thing. Corleo is a jaw-dropper. The design? Insane. It bends, leans, walks like a creature. It even mimics how hoops interact with the ground. It looks like something you'd see in a Hollywood mech battle. But. It's still a concept. A prototype. Kawasaki calls it a Vision 4, the vehicle of 2050. That's 25 years from now. It's not for sale, not tested in the wild, and definitely not ready for production. Meanwhile, Unitree B2W is already in the hands of developers, researchers, and military applications. It's being field tested. It's programmable. It's walking the walk, literally. Now here's the juicy bit. Unitree showed off the B2W in January 2025, and Kawasaki unveiled Corleo in April 2025. Was it inspiration? Coincidence? Or, just a bit too close for comfort? 
And get this, Unitree's already working on the B3W, with faster legs, smarter AI, and upgraded terrain handling. So as much as we love Kawasaki's creative flair, the truth is, Unitree's already running laps around the competition. Corleo is the dream. B2W is the reality. One is an artistic glimpse into the future of mobility. The other is already hauling gear through tough terrain today. So, who's the real game changer? That's up to you to decide. Let me know in the comments. Would you ride a Corleo, or let a B2W carry your gear into the wild? Ride the future. Think like a machine.